Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and today is a really, really exciting makeover because I am tackling a style I have never tackled before. I am here at my friend Diana's condo in Toronto. She has trusted me with making over her bedroom. So that's what we're gonna do. A huge shout out to Native Deodorant for sponsoring today's episode. More about them later and an awesome discount code for you. Um, but for now, let's get started. So this is Diana's bedroom right now. There's nothing wrong with it, but Diana said it's the last room in her and her partner Matthews. They haven't really put any time or effort into decorating it. The one thing they did put effort into was painting the walls pink, which is funny because you'll find out later on this video that like I maybe painted them a different color, but Diana fought long and hard to have these walls painted pink and Matthew did it himself, which is really lovely. But Diana really wants to change the style of this bedroom. She actually introduced me to the style Japandi, which is basically when Japan meets Scandinavia, and it it creates a beautiful thing. So you'll see in these inspo photos that there's lots of like natural woods, there's lots of texture, um, the walls are like either white or creamy off-white, and it's very serene. And it actually makes a ton of sense to me because this is very much Diana in a decor style. Diana is like the sweetest, most calm person I've ever met. She's one of my closest friends. Um, so I'm really excited to be tackling this style. I've done a lot of research about it, pinned a ton of photos, and I think that the things I have for this space today are gonna really transform it and turn it into like a sweet Japandi oasis. Let me know in the comments, have you ever heard of this style and do you love it? I wanted to walk you guys through the mood board that I have for Diana and Matthew's bedroom and kind of talk through what I'm thinking. Japandi style is very minimal, um, but still decorative at the same time. So I feel like when people think of a minimal space, they think of like no furniture or maybe very minimal furniture, um, things that are there to like serve a purpose. And through my research of Japandi style, that is true, but there's a lot of texture woven in. So it's minimal, but there's also things that make it feel decorative and styled. So the things I pulled are some sort of like natural big bold pendant, which I think is gonna look really good hanging in the center above their bed. I've also picked this very low um, cabinet, but I love how this is low to the ground and I love how it's navy. I noticed that in a lot of the Japandi inspo photos I was pinning, there were like hits of color and a lot of the time it was navy. I've also picked these black wall sconces. Diana and Matthew only have one reading light right now. So I definitely want to bring in a sconce and I love that these are black and they're sleek I've also found these really beautiful knobs. I'm pretty sure these are from CB2 and I love how they are a very organic shape These nightstands again are like very simple bringing in that wood element and same as the art above the bed It's very organic, but there's still color in it. Um, it's also minimal at the same time I also want to try and bring in some sort of linen duvet not in a white I'm thinking like an off-white or maybe a gray. Yeah, so that's my mood board. That's what I'm thinking I feel like it looks really good on screen and now it's just bringing that into the space and Diana and Matthew's bedroom is not crowded right now like it's very minimal in terms of what they actually have in the room and I'm gonna kind of go with that you know they don't need a ton of storage options Diana and Matthew have a huge walk-in closet um, so I can really just kind of layer in decor and I'm not gonna do too much I want to keep this airy I want to keep it minimal but I also want to make it feel cozy and warm because Right now, it really does not feel that way. Okay, let's head into day one. So the first thing I'm gonna do is clear out um, basically everything except the bed and the mirror um, in this space. Diana said everything that they have in here has just been kind of like passed down to them. They have folding TV trays as side tables. Diana and Matthew, what were you thinking? These need to go. So I'm gonna bring everything out. They have this awesome kind of boho style rug on the floor. I'm gonna bring that out too. It's a beautiful rug, but it's just not gonna work for the style that Diana wants. I also have the walls painted white um, with this awesome like creamy 
I would say it's kind of like a sand color as the accent wall. And this is the first thing that's already transforming this space to be more serene rather than boho. The pink walls and the rug were feeling kind of boho, but already it feels like more calm and serene in here. So let's get all this stuff out of here and start the makeover. Okay, so now we have this empty space. I'm really excited about it. Diana and Matthew had two dressers and I felt like it was really closing off the space. One of their necessities was that we keep at least one of the dressers. So instead, I'm thinking of bringing in just one large piece of furniture and that way we have this space free. And then it's like not blocking the window. It just makes more sense. So I need to take the rug out. I'm gonna probably need a few hands helping me with that. Um, but the room's all cleared out, which is awesome. I love a blank slate. The rug is gone. You guys, Alana just pointed out that I painted over pink walls and got rid of a boho rug. Who am I? I don't know. But this style is really all about simplicity, like minimalism, but with lots of texture. So the rug that was here before was textured, obviously, but it was way too boho. It had a print on it. So I'm bringing in um, a jute rug. This has tons of texture, but it's simple, simple and minimal. So let's, let's bring it in. There's gonna need to be like five of us all hands on deck because this bed is quite heavy. <laughs> hey guys, we have a bit of a problem. Oh no. Okay. Team effort. You guys are just gonna have to lift it really high and I'm just gonna have to crawl under the bed. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yay! <laughs> Woohoo! Already I'm getting Japandi vibes. I love the texture of this rug. It feels so fun underfoot. Already with the color of the walls, it's starting to feel like more neutral and minimal looking good. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna be hanging this gorgeous piece of art. This is from Minted. It's by Lauren Picard. She's the artist. And I wanted something abstract and with these colors that like we're gonna see throughout this room, the beiges, um, this like very light pinky brown color. I love Minted because they frame things so beautifully. And I always feel like when you're working with a small space, go big with your art. Like, don't be afraid to just go big. This is gonna look so beautiful right when they walk in the room. It's like a statement, and I hope that it's gonna fit perfectly above the bed. Let's hang it. You guys, <laughs> this looks so good, and I think proof that sometimes a big piece of art is really all you need to make such a difference in a space. I'm so excited. I know Diana's gonna love this. So you guys remember that there was a dresser over there and there was a dresser here. I am bringing in just one long dresser. It has four drawers and it's low to the ground and it's gonna replace the use of two dressers. And I noticed that in a lot of the inspo photos that I was pinning for Japandi style, I noticed a common theme of navy being woven in as like the accent color amongst um, all the neutrals, which I really like. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just went, my fingies. <laughs> Looks really good. I'm relieved it fits. I mean, I did measure, but whenever I get into a space, it always seems like way smaller than in photos. Um, I'm just gonna push it all the way back against the wall. Okay, I'm already anticipating there to be comments about how this is a tight squeeze. It totally is. Here in Toronto, condos are small. Diana did have a dresser here and she said she did not mind having like a little space to work with. And the drawers do open fully with room. So I'm not too worried about it. And you guys, Diana has a full walk-in closet. So there's really not gonna be like a ton of stuff stored in these dressers. I also love how low this is. I found that when she had two dressers that were taller, 
it kind of made the space feel like way more enclosed than it needs to be. And Japandi style is all about um, like openness and airiness. So I think this really works. She gets storage, but it's kind of hidden away. And then you get that pop of color, which is really great. A quick pause in the video to talk about this week's sponsor, Native deodorant. Um, if you guys have watched any of my previous videos that Native has sponsored, then you know I am a natural deodorant convert because of this brand. Before Native, I tried like every natural deodorant brand I could get my hands on. None of them worked. I was super skeptical. And before I took on the sponsorship, I said, you're going to have to send me some of the deodorants. So I'm going to have to see if it works. And it really does work. It's incredible. I have so many of their scents, but one thing I'm really excited about is their non-plastic packaging. So this entire package is completely recyclable. It comes in a recyclable mailer as well. Um, and I love how small they are. So I just like pop this in my makeup bag or my purse if I'm going out for the day. Another thing I really love is all the scents that Native Deodorant offers. They usually put out a collection of new scents every season. Um, so for fall, the one I've been loving is coconut and vanilla. It smells so good. In the summer, I really love using their cactus flower and poppy scent, but I retired that for now and started with the coconut and vanilla. And this one I haven't opened because I'm gonna leave it for Diana. It's candy cane for Christmas. It smells like a literal candy cane so good but the thing i love about these scents is that they're not overpowering they're not synthetic at all they all smell really natural i'm very sensitive to smell so um even like the candy cane one smells natural and really yummy and then there's these mini ones as well i'm gonna leave her a mini candy cane um ooh, mini vanilla and chai oh it's, it smells like a chai tea latte and sugar cookie if you guys want to give a natural deodorant a try, and if you want to trust me when I say this stuff really works, use my discount code. It'll be on screen and in the description box to get three deodorants in the non-plastic packaging for $29. The pack of three is usually $39, so you're saving $10, which is awesome. Use my code, try all the scents. I guarantee you once you try this stuff, you'll have every scent that Native Deodorant offers in your cabinet like I do. I just like give out deodorant to people that come by my house. I'm like, you have a deodorant, you have a deodorant, because <laughs> they're so good. Hopefully Diana likes these. I'm gonna leave them in her pretty bathroom for her and let's get back to the makeover. So the next thing I'm gonna do is change the sheets on this bed. Now you guys know I'm a fan of linen because I love how relaxed it looks, how like lived in it looks. You don't have to iron linen. It's supposed to look really textured, like wrinkly. And I just love the look it gives, especially in a Japandi style room where texture is super key. And like laid backness in a way. So I'm gonna take off this patterned bedspread. It's very patterned, um, it's very bold and bright and we're going for calm and serene. My favorite linen bedding is from Flax Sleep. Um, I've talked about them before on my channel. It's the duvet cover and pillowcases that I have on my bed. And they're a Canadian owned company, which is so awesome, run by all women, which is even more awesome. So yeah, if you guys are in the market for like a very amazing quality linen set, I will link them down below. Ah, oh, yes. Next up, I'm putting in new night tables and I'm placing this cute basket underneath for storage. This is a great place to store phone cords and anything else that's gonna make the nightstand feel cluttered. One of the things Diana asked for in this bedroom was a clock. I was like, is there anything else you need or want? She was like, just a clock. So I found this really beautiful clock that doubles as an art piece. And I don't think a clock has to be boring. I think it can totally be a decorative moment. It comes with a template, it's pretty large. So I'm putting it on this wall. It's a bit tucked away, um, but it lets it like, it lets it have its moment. The clock, this clock deserves to have its moment.
Will it good? Let's see. Oh my gosh. Amazing. I love it. Next up, I'm adding some wall sconces beside the bed. And you guys know if you live in a small space, like Diana and Matthew, but need lighting beside your bed, go for wall sconces. They're space saving, but they also look really beautiful. I was kind of worried that this room was feeling a bit empty, but as soon as you add lights on the wall, it like fills the space up and is functional and also decorative. It is the weekend and Carla and I are going back to Diana and Matthews because last night we lost all the light. It got dark at like 4.45. We just couldn't shoot anymore. It was too dark. So luckily Diana and Matthew are away at Matthew's parents' house this weekend. They live just down the road from Diana and Matthew. So we have the condo to ourselves. We're gonna finish it off and then reveal the space to them today. So exciting. You guys, Carla's gonna laugh at me, but I'm gonna say it anyway. What a difference these curtains make to this room. These are really inexpensive. There's nothing special about them. They're a little sheer, but I wanted to add them to give this room a little bit of whimsy, make it feel a little bit warmer. Condos typically, you know, can feel a little bit cold, um, but just adding some really inexpensive sheer curtains like this instantly warms the place up. I also wanna talk about where they hit the floor. So normally you'd want your curtains to just like touch the floor very slightly. These definitely pool on the floor, but that is intentional. I really wanted these to be more of like a decorative moment. Um, I've left the blackout blinds that Diana and Matthew already had when they purchased this condo, um, but just adding these are really decorative, I feel like they feel really romantic and just add like some more texture into this space and pooling them on the floor is definitely a conscious choice. I really love it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think, um, but I feel like it really matches this style that we're going for. Okay, so we're gonna revisit this dresser. I'm gonna pull out one of my oldest tricks in my decor book. I don't have a decor book, but if I did, this would be in it. Um, and that is changing up the knobs or adding knobs to an existing dresser. I found these, they're so cool. And I feel like these just scream like Japandi style. Um, they're very heavy and they're going to kick this Ikea dresser up a notch, really elevate it. This is also a really inexpensive hack. You can find knobs from like anywhere from like $5 to $40, depending on um, the budget that you're working with, but just wait till you see this dresser transformed with these knobs. So now it's time to style the top of this dresser. One of my favorite parts of a makeover. Um, I'll admit I may have been up last night thinking about this big blank wall and how I don't have anything to place on it. That was an intentional decision because we have the big piece of art above the bed. I thought it would be kind of weird to have more art across. Like I, I really don't want this room to feel busy and crowded with things that like it doesn't need. Cause I really feel like Japandi style is finding the balance between minimalism and like comfort. Like it's minimalist kind of, but it's also really, really warm and decorative. I'm gonna try and add lots of height. I wanna bring some metals in here, paired with like glass, maybe some art, lots of plants. And I'm gonna really try and get the height um, that, this, that this needs, because it's quite low to the ground. Let's get styling.
Okay, we're nearing the end of the makeover, but I have a final piece of decor that is really going to bring this whole space together, and that is a new ceiling light. So like most condos or rental apartments, Diane and Matthews, ceiling light in here was pretty standard. This ceiling light is an infamous boob light. It needed to go. It needed to be changed. I feel like a lot of people feel intimidated about changing ceiling lights. It's actually really simple, and bringing in a really like bold um, kind of statement light brings style into your space. Like it's going to literally bring this whole room together. So Carla, can you pass me the light? I'm so excited about this light. This light is so beautiful. It has the natural textures that are really woven throughout this space. It matches the frame of the art above the bed. Really simple, but like very impactful. So I'm gonna hang this. I cannot wait to see it. I love, I just love, I just love pendant lights. Okay. I'm gonna hang this. Let's see how it looks. It looks, it looks so good. Yay! It's time for the finishing touches. Matthew and Diana are gonna be here so soon. So I'm going to make this space as cozy as possible and get ready to reveal it to them. Okay, I want you guys to picture what your space looked like before your bedroom. Mm -hmm. Can you remind me? Like minimal effort. <laughs> <laughs> On the can of three, I want you guys to open your eyes, okay? Okay. Yeah. One, two, three. Really, really nice. It's, it's really, really, really good. The wall here just feels like this calming shade. It's really totally nice. Totally I like it, yeah. Different, the lighting is different, the mood is different. The mm -hmm. It just feels like calming. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's Japan. Yeah. <laughs> Very Japan. <-y. laughs> I am so happy with how this bedroom turned out. Also, guys, give this video a thumbs up for Diana's reaction. She literally screamed when she saw the room and then teared up. It was like, it was like all the emotions in 30 seconds. It was great. It was so fun tackling a style that I've never tackled before. Let me know in the comments down below what style you want to see me tackle next. I would really love to know. I'm really excited about trying something in the farmhouse style, um, maybe something more rustic, but let me know in the comments what you guys want me to tackle next. Thank you again to Native Deodorant for sponsoring this video. Make sure you guys use my code, go grab the candy cane and other holiday scented deodorant from Native. And as always, I will see you guys next week. Bye.